Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about block objects. Throughout the exam, you might be asked to place in block objects and then manipulate them in a way to collect information or collect measurements. So a block object, for those of you who are unfamiliar, is an object that you essentially want to copy and paste throughout your entire project. So if you think about the blueprints of a property, a block object could be like the water closet, or it could be the sink or the bathtub. And it's just something that you don't want to create over and over again. So if you have a standard already created, you can just access that block whenever you need to. So for the sake of this project, let's just go ahead and draw something really quick. I'm gonna draw a circle, and then I'm gonna type in REC, enter to create a rectangle, and I'm going to draw in a rectangle. So nothing too complex. But let's say we want this here to be our block object. I'm going to press escape a few times and then select the entirety of this object and go to the insert tab. Once I'm over here, there's an option called create block. I'm going to click on that and then go to the create block option. And if you notice by the picture, it stores whatever I selected in as the object. So let's just go ahead and call this something. I'll go ahead and call it toilet. You can ob obviously, you know, call it whatever you'd like. And then once you have that, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this box is checked just in case it's not. And it's to specify the on-screen base point. The base point is just what you want the center or the reference of the object to be so that when you're moving it, you're moving it from that point. So once you press OK, you're going to have that uh, that specify insertion base point currently on your mouse. So don't click down, because if you click down somewhere weird, then whenever you move the object, it will move kind of weird also. But go ahead, find somewhere you want to be the center of your object. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this point, but I could have picked any point. So I'm gonna click that, and now we've essentially specified that base point, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and escape out of this, now, what did that do? Well, first of all, you might notice if I select the object, it automatically selects both things, unlike before where it would only select one, and it also lights up the base point of the object. So this is that point that I specified. So when I move the object, I'm gonna to want to click it from there and then move it accordingly, okay? So that's just some useful stuff. Now, that's great and all, but what exactly can I do with that? Let's go ahead and imagine we have some kind of a wall. So I'm going to draw a wall here as well as this object and I'm actually gonna keep going with that wall just a little bit further. So we got like two walls over here. Well I want to put another one of these on this side and there's ways we can do that but I'm just gonna to go to the insert tab and then to the insert option and then you'll notice right away that these are all the base objects I currently have or the block objects I have. So I'm gonna select the toilet one and you might notice right away I'm holding the toilet, okay? So if I positioned it somewhere, let's say I positioned it over here, I can click it, and now I've essentially dropped it down on that surface, and I could like manipulate it or I can move it um, however I see fit, okay? So it's just based on that object, and now I can move it and snap it into place, okay? So that's the usefulness of a base object. If you wanna do anything custom to it, like let's say I wanted to, to rotate this to this wall, and you just need to use your rotate command. So I'm just going to go ROT for rotate, enter, and then you can just specify you want that base point to be the reference or whatever, and then you could rotate it 90 degrees, press escape twice, select the object, and then snap it to whichever wall you're trying to snap it to. So really useful to know uh, how to create block objects, and hopefully you found this video useful, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.